Hello and welcome to today's video of Electrical Materials, where today we will be covering electrical conductivity. Electrical conductivity can be measured to use a material's ability to conduct electrical current. This is represented by our symbol sigma, which is equal to the reciprocal of our electrical resistivity. In other words, it is equal to our length divided by R times A, where R is the resistance and A is our area. Let's go ahead and look at an example. For our example, we have a power supply of 15 volts is connected to a copper wire with a current of 2.5 amperes. Given that the copper wire is 8 meters long and has a cross-sectional area of 50.27 meters squared, determine the electrical conductivity. So first we can go ahead and identify what the question is asking us. In this case, it is electrical conductivity and we do not need to rearrange our formula. So let's go ahead and make a note of our given information. To start off, we are given that our cross-sectional area, which is our variable A, is equal to 50.27 meters squared. We are then given that the copper wire is 8 meters long, so L is equal to 8 meters, and we aren't given our resistance R, but we are given our power supply and current. So we can note that our current denoted as I is equal to 2.5 amps, and our power denoted as V is equal to 15 volts. So we can recall using Ohm's law, we have our power is equal to our current and it is proportional to our resistance. So we can rearrange this formula to solve for resistance. So resistance is equal to our power divided by our current. Now we can go ahead and plug in our power and current. So we have 15 volts divided by 2.5 amps and this gives us 6 ohms as our resistance. Now that we've solved for the resistance, let's go ahead and clean the board so that we can use our formula for electrical conductivity. So to solve for electrical conductivity, sigma, we can go ahead and use our second formula, which is L divided by R times A, since we aren't given our electrical resistivity in this problem. So we can write that we have 8 meters and we can divide this by 6 ohms times our area of 50.27 meters squared. So then we have our 8 meters. And if we multiply 6 ohms times 57.27 meters squared, we have 301.62 ohms times meters squared. And so if we divide this, we have 67.027 meters divided by ohms times meters squared. So let's go ahead and simplify our units. We have a meter in the numerator and meter squared in the denominator. So this gives us 1 divided by ohm times m. And we can go ahead and simplify 1 over ohm, and this gives us semen divided by meters. So our final answer is 67.027 siemens divided by meters. This concludes our video on electrical conductivity. Thank you for watching.